All right, I want to talk to you today about why losers play video games. Now, let me just say right out the at the outset of this study, um, I'm not saying this thing to just tick people off and whatever else. I'm saying this as a former video game addict. Um, and I, I just need to, to define a few things before we get into this study. We're going to be looking at some different arguments. We're going to be looking at a bunch of different scriptures. And um, I'm going to show you the proof that you're a loser if you're playing a video game. Definitely. Um, let me just say this. I have seen in all my years of preaching that there are idols that people have in their lives. And when their idol gets kicked, their brain shuts down and they just simply say, I don't care what arguments he gives. I'm going to look for anything I can find on him to try and turn around and say, well, yeah, but you do this. Um, I'm going to be kicking some people's idols today. And more than likely, a lot of you people aren't going to listen to me. Um, but if you are out there um, and you love the Lord and you love his word, the King James Bible, this will be a challenge to you. Um, and let me just say uh, another thing that I need to get covered. I'm not on the same. Um, some of you younger guys out there, you think that, well, Brother Brian and me, I can relate to him on a lot of things and whatever else. But you seem to forget the fact that I'm, a lot of you, I'm over twice your age. Okay? Uh, the Bible talks about elders. All right? Uh, I'm an older man. Um, in a little less than a month, I'm going to be 45 years old. I was born in 1975, July of 1975. I've been around for a while. I'm not on your level. Okay? Uh, I have a lot of life experience that you don't have if you're in your 20s, even if you're in your 30s, especially if you're in your teens. But, you know... Uh, I've, I've experienced a lot of things, right? And I can tell you right now, I was a video game addict for most of my life. Um, started out with Intellivision, then Atari, then Nintendo, then Panasonic 3DO, and then um, uh, Sony PlayStation, and then I got into computers and, and everything else. And I spent thousands, tens of thousands of hours playing video games down through the years. So I have experience, experience through multiple you know, decades, okay, um, that you don't have if you're in your 20s. A lot of you, before you were even born, I was playing video games, all right? And I don't say that from a point of pride. I say that from a point of experience, age and experience, which you're supposed to listen to. If you are saying, well, you don't know what you're talking about, then you are the one that has pride because you are basically, you think that you know more than a guy that's twice your age. That's called pride, all right, that's a very serious sin in Scripture. I'm going to give you a very sharp rebuke today. If you are a video game player, right, as I once was, and the reason I'm giving this sharp rebuke is because I wish I would have gotten this when I was young so that I wouldn't have wasted all those years of my life playing something worthless that had no eternal merit, that had no physical merit on this earth. I'm going to go through a lot of different arguments today in this study. If you want the truth, if you love the truth, if you're saved, if you're lost, you're not going to get this. You're not going to understand it. You're just going to say, Denlinger's a crazy religious coot. He's a nut. He's a Pharisee. Yes, of course. Um, you're not going to get it if you're lost. Um, you're a natural man. You don't receive the things of the Spirit of God. They're foolishness to you. You don't, you don't understand these things. But if you're saved, then I pray that the Holy Spirit comes right out and takes... This book right here and stabs you right in the soul and just says, you're in sin. You are wrong. When I show you the scriptures. Okay. So with that as an introduction, let's start out here by defining what a loser is. Webster's 1828 dictionary. A dictionary that is used by Bible believers, mostly because it hasn't been corrupted by modern political, political correctness, and many times there are actually references to Scripture within the definition. So this is a good one to use if you're a Bible believer. But it's very telling what loser, how loser is defined in this uh, 1828 dictionary. Loser, quote, one that loses... Always gotta love that. Or that is deprived of anything by defeat, forfeiture, or the like. Okay? You lose. You say, well, I win at video games. Just hold on. The contrary to winner or 
gainer. You're losing something. You're a loser. A loser, now listen to this, a loser by trade may be honest and moral. You're a salesman or whatever else, and you try to trade things or try to sell things, and you made a bad investment or you make a bad sale, and you lose. You lose money. You see? That doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It means you made a bad sale, a bad trade. You can still be moral and honest. But listen to the rest of the definition. A loser by trade may be honest and moral. This cannot be said of a loser by gaming. I kid you not. 1828 Dictionary. See if I can hold this thing up right here. Right where my fingers are at. Excuse me. Hopefully you can see that. A loser by gaming. You say, they didn't have video games in 1828. Really? Oh, thank you, Einstein. I wouldn't have been able to figure that out. Okay. Oh, no. Sarcasm. Oh, that's just terrible. Yeah, read the Bible sometime. All right. All great men of God over the years have been sarcastic because you speak with confidence when you know the truth of the Word of God. You don't have to say, well, I mean, would you rather have me be wishy-washy like some Laodicean that makes God sick? Some of you probably would because you yourself are Laodicean and you don't like your little idols being kicked. But here's the point. Somebody really truly tries to do something good and they lose, they can still be moral and honest. But if they're gaming and you lose, you're not moral or honest. Okay? Now I'm going to give you five things that you will, you will lose when you play video games. Not may lose, you will lose. All right? I'll write them down for you. You will lose This marker's not doing any good. Uh, let me get a new one up here quickly. Excuse me. The marker's dying out. Okay, you will lose. Number one, I have here your time. Guaranteed. Well, no, you see, no, no, just be quiet. Okay? Little teenager, little 20 year old, little 30 year old, whatever you are, be quiet. An older man is speaking that has many years of experience. I was a single guy till I was 36 years old. I played a lot of video games over the years. Lots and lots and lots of video games up all night. Finally get to bed five or six o'clock in the morning being up all night long because I had to get to a certain level and I had to beat a certain thing. And, mm -hmm, yeah, I lost a lot of time in my life. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. You say, well, that, well, maybe it's not a sin. Maybe it's okay. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 16. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. You're to redeem the time. God saves you. You're supposed to start working for Him. You're a bondservant of Jesus Christ. You don't have much time left. So I got saved as a, as a, in my late teens, my early 20s. Okay, get to work for Jesus Christ. Forgot. Could, you, could one of you go up and get the, the ball from up there? I forgot about that. Um, you're losing time. All right. Well, I just play a little video game now and then while I'm waiting for something to happen or uh, I, I need this or I need that. Whatever, you know, I, I just have to, just a little bit, you know, between waiting for something to download or, yeah, yeah I, I made all the excuses in the past too, okay? But you see, I don't care if you play video games for five minutes. That's five minutes that you could be doing something else. Five minutes that you could be doing something with your hands. Five minutes you could be reading the Bible. Five minutes that you could be cooking something. So five minutes that you could be anything, anything. And when you get into real life, when you leave the video game world behind, you realize how precious time is. I'm an off-grid homesteader right now. It took me over 40 years to get here, to this life. 
there is no time for video games. No time. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't go for a video game if my life depended on it. There's just, there's too much stuff to do. Um, I'm a man now. I wasn't a man in the past when I was playing video games. I sure wish some preacher would have told me. I sure wish some preacher would have ripped my hide off back when I was a teenager and explained the danger of what video games do to you. But none of them ever did. Because you see, the churches I went to, they were more interested in that tithe money. And they had to tiptoe through the tithers, you know what I mean? Thank you. Yeah. You lose your time. But that isn't all. Second thing you lose, your mental, picked up the wrong marker, <laughs> your mental health. What are you talking about? Second Corinthians chapter 10. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Not going to happen when you're playing video games. Don't even tell me about it. I used to do the, the whole thing. I'm going to play this game and I'm going to listen to preaching while I'm, I'm here. That's not it. Not it. And I got so obsessive with those games, it was just every day I had to have my games. I had to, I just, you know, they're drugs. They designed them to make them addictive. How many stories have I heard down through the years of guys at these video game places, whatever, specific, specifically in Japan, which is just a travesty. Satan has just totally destroyed that nation. But these guys over there, and they're playing video games, and they play them for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and they're not even doing normally, normal bodily functions. And then they find the guy dead in the bathroom, you know, just finally tried to run to the bathroom and just keeled over and died because he was playing video games for too long. See, gets down to hell. What are you here for? Well, I killed a bunch of people and I rejected Jesus Christ, obviously. That's why I'm here. What'd you do? I played video games for nine hours straight without going pee. Wow. Boy, that was worth it. What is he? He's a loser. He's a loser. And so are you if you're playing video games. Loser. I was a loser. And you mean to tell me you're not? Yes, you are. You're playing video games, you're a loser. You're going to lose your mental health. And by the way, if you think it's uh, fine and, and good and everything to go around, I mean, the video games I played were, were lame compared to the stuff nowadays. I can't, I can't even watch the stuff nowadays. It's just images moving so fast, and I think, how can these guys even play this? There's serious mental damage up here. If you can play with all these flashing images and it doesn't bother you. I mean, it gives me motion sickness. Something's wrong with you if you can play these new games. But I guess it's okay for Christians to just play something like Call of Duty or, or some of these other first-person shooter games where you're just going around and you're just shooting people and the blood splattering and shooting and shooting. That's yeah, not going to do anything to your mental health. Yeah, you're bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, aren't you? No, you're not. You're not right with God. Thirdly, not only do you lose your mental health, Number three, you lose your physical health. Yes, you do. We're dealing with science. Again, I deal in science. There's things I say that, okay, this is supernatural. You have to believe this by faith, whatever else. There's other things. Science. Absolute total science. Nobody is going to become more healthy because they played video games. Let me show you some interesting scriptures on this. Genesis chapter 3, verse 19. I was thinking scriptures is the next one, but Genesis 3, 19. Here's a good one for the video game addict. When your God is your video game, your idol, little satanic devils that are in your life that uh, just infest your mind and just pull you away from Jesus Christ and away from His Word and away from being a real man. Genesis 3.19, In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread 
till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Oh, but you see, that's, that's Old Testament. We're under the New Testament now. Okay, can you please show me some place where you're not supposed to sweat when you work? Where you're not supposed to work physical and hard labor? Oh, we have modern conveniences now. Yes, and look what it's done to people. Look what it's done to people. A bunch of lousy, stinking couch potatoes sitting around. Play video game. Bleep, 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 Loser. That's what you are. That's what I was. You say, well, weren't you logging in some of that? Yeah, yeah, but I'd still go in and play video games. Why? Because I was a loser. I was a loser. Yeah. Let me just illustrate a couple of things here on this thing of physical, uh, your, your physical health that you lose when you're gaming, okay? Let's just say that uh, for 15 years, you're scrawny, you're skinny, you're out of shape, you're overweight, whatever. You're just out of shape. You could either be really anemically skinny or you're really overweight. And all of a sudden you say, you know what? I'm walking away from video games. I'm gonna go work for a farm. I'm gonna go work on a farm, get a farm my own or whatever else. And for 15 years, no video games. All you do is just farm that property. You're out there digging in the dirt, sun up to sun down, and you just work, 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 work. Hard work. Are you gonna be in better or worse shape after 15 years? Better. Okay. Um, now let's do the flip side. You decide, uh, you know what, for the next 15 years, I'm not going to do anything but play video games. Are you going to be in better or worse shape? Your health is going to be falling apart. I speak from experience. I can speak to how anemic and sickly I was as a teenager. I, I looked like one of these guys that comes out of the concentration camps. Six foot four, 150 pounds. That's what I weighed in high school. Skinny, tall, skinny, just bony, thin. Why? Well, because I played video games a lot. I know, but I, I used to lift weights and stuff too, by the way. I was going to be, you know, the next big Arnold Schwarzenegger or some other big roid head or whatever else. I'm, I'm, I'm going to lift weights and get huge. I didn't. When I started gaining weight is when I started actually working and getting away from the video games. And had I known, had some preacher been loving enough to tell me how wicked video games are, and how much sin I was in by playing those things. Wasting my life. If he would have called me a loser. And explained why. Like I'm doing for you right now. Young man. Young woman. Even in your 20s or 30s. Older that should know better. Um, if I had known that. Boy how much farther ahead in life I could have been. I sure wish I could have been at this off grid property. Homesteading here. 10, 20 years ago. Boy I'd sure have a lot done. I sure would. But no, I chose to take that time and spend it with video games. Why? Because I was a loser. Just like you. Out there, you video game player. Video game addict. Another point I want to make. This is a ball. Some of you have seen this in my videos before. I've used this thing for illustration purposes before. The little ball that my son and I play with and things. and we've had, He's had since he was one of his you know, first toys. Now... Is this a sin? Wee, wee. There's no sin here. I could do this all day if I felt like it. My wife comes in and she says, did you finish doing that firewood yet? Oh no, I, I, I'm having fun. I need to de-stress. I'm having a good time right now. Hey, did you uh, fix the rear brakes on your work truck? No, I didn't yet, uh, but I'm having fun. There's no sin in me throwing this ball up and down. It's a lot of fun. Did you do this? Did you do that? Are you, are you doing working on the trails to start your logging work where you can go back and log the end things and, and fell the trees and everything else so you can build a log cabin for us? No, but I'm having fun. There's no sin in this ball. There's no sin in me throwing it up and down. You see? But uh, what am I? That's all I do. My free time. Wee wee. Loser. I, I just, I, I, you know, it's not, there's, you can't show me a verse of scripture. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that video games are a sin. It doesn't specifically say it. So it's an issue of liberty. We can have it. One of the quickest ways to tell a devil 
is when they start to throw this little liberty thing around all the time. There's three areas of liberty, brethren, in the scriptures and no more. Holidays, your diet, eating, eat or, eating meat or just vegetables, and head coverings, physical head coverings. That's it. There's not one word about we can choose what we want to listen to music wise or we can play video games or we can look at porn or we can, you know, just do this or do that or we can cuss if we want to or we can. All these little things that now these Satanists are coming into our ranks and saying, oh, it's a liberty issue. It's a liberty issue. It's not a liberty issue. Okay. You're playing little games. You're a loser. Do you understand? People drive by and I'm there. Look at me, I'm playing ball. It's a nice property you got back in there. You, you got a cabin you built? No, nope, but I can sure throw the ball up and down. Watch, I'm working on doing it with one hand. Whoa. Loser. You're a loser. I, I, I beat Call of Duty, the, the, the newest one that came out. I beat it in three days. Loser. That's all you are. You're a loser. Well, you... I had the top score online, and, and I in my online gaming, I'm the I'm the top ranked player. Loser! You're pathetic. You're a loser. Your life is a joke. You're worthless. Ping ping ball. <laughs> Boy, I wish somebody would have told me this stuff years ago. But some of you little idolatrous little losers out there are getting all upset. And you know what you're going to do? You're going to try to find fault with me. Kill the messenger. Let's not deal with the scriptures. Let's not deal with the facts. That's what you're doing. See, I'm an old man. Okay? I've dealt with you people before. I've been there. I've heard the arguments. Prideful little arrogant jerks. Oh, oh we're so smart now because we have our magic little iPhones and we can just access any information. And whenever we want it, because we have little iPhones and we can just kind of look things up and whatever else. And I can, you know, find videos exposing Brian Denlinger and I can do it. You're a loser. <laughs> Deal with it. Change. You know, something else I want to bring up. Another point I want to bring up how video games destroy your physical health. And that is young men 100 years ago. Let me show you a book that was printed for young men 100 years ago. Shelters, Shacks, and Shanties by D.C. Beard, 1914 classic. You know what this book is? Teaching young men how to build cabins, how to build little buildings and shacks and things like that. And these young men would go out into the woods and they would go out there and here's how to build one out of birch bark and tar paper and things. And here's how to build a, you know, a, one out of sawn lumber. Just a, just a little over 100 years, 106 years ago, it was a famous book. Young men going out and saying, hey, Dad, you mind if I go out in the woods there and build a, a shack? Young men get done with their 8th grade schooling, you know, just up to the 8th grade. Why well, waste time with all the others, you know? Uh, they were brilliant back then, 100 years ago. Their, their levels of education far surpassed the, the, the morons of public schooling today. And they come out and they'd say, uh, Father would say, well, son, what are you thinking? What do you want to do? Well, Dad, I think I'm going to strike out for the Yukon Territory. I've heard some good things, good, good opportunities there. It's probably going to take me a year or more to get out there with the stagecoaches and whatever, whatever else, you know, and, and things. Maybe I'll go by steamer. You know, that'll take, you know, less time but more money. And some things that, you know, read the lives of, of, of young men 100 years ago. Pony Express, you know, back in the, what, 19th century. And uh, they, they, they said about they're looking for young men you know, that, that, are, that want adventure. And you read about these guys that just, just had such adventure and they're, they're people shooting at them and they're riding throughout the night and stuff on their horses, riding at full tilt and everything else and changing horses and riding without even getting anything to eat. 100 years ago. I'm going to build a log home. Hey, loser, where's your log home that you've built? Hey, loser, uh, what adventures have, I, have you had? Pew, 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 pew. Uh, uh, look at me. Uh, hey, I can, look at me, I'm, I'm daring. I can eat Doritos with one hand, put them in my mouth and drink some poison pop with this hand and, and never push paws. Whoa, you're such a man. 
Loser. You're a loser. Number four, another thing that you will lose. Guaranteed, guaranteed. You play video games, you will lose money. Video games ex are uh, expensive. Systems are expensive. So, well, well, my parents buy it all for me, so I don't lose anything. Okay, um, well, why don't you go out and work? Why don't you build things? Why don't you sell things? Why don't you do things with your hands? You either play the boo, 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 boo. Going to play a little games, huh? You're a loser. Give you a couple of verses of scripture here on this one. Proverbs chapter 13. You know, a good, good preachers will convict you of your sin. Good preacher, uh, I've had some real good preachers uh, down through my life. Uh, one of the greatest experiences I ever had was uh, James Lyman, um, street preacher. And uh, he was standing up on the, on the front pews of the Liberty Baptist Church I was going to, and he was screaming at us for not witnessing to people. Not going out street preaching, not doing whatever else. Well, that was a great sermon. He ripped our hides off. I'm thankful. And I went up to him afterwards and I told him that. I was thankful for that study. Some preacher just, well, let me just be meek here and just, just kind of mild and, and just kind of speak to you like you're stupid or something. Um, that's somebody that doesn't love you. By good words and fair speeches, they deceive. You understand? I love you. That's why I'm being rough. I hope you listen. I hope I can wake you out of your video game stupor, out of your idolatry. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 11. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished. Well, I can play this game on Facebook and I earn some money that I can spend at 7-Eleven or something. I think I heard the one time. <laughs> yeah. But he that gathereth by labor shall increase. There's some labor there. Hey, young man, uh, you want to build a little cabin out in the woods? Why don't you learn how to uh, use an axe? There's a guy holding an axe, building a shelter, going out trapping. You make some good money doing that. Make some money doing other types of things where you can labor with your hands. But it, I can... I can play Minecraft, and I, look, I'm building a village. Oh boy, look at me. I built a whole farm. I'll play Sim City. I'm building up a city. Oh boy, look at me. Oh, I have the, I have the top player. Loser. <laughs> You're a loser. Face it. I mean, face it, I had to come to the place, place in my life where I realized, you know what? I'm a loser. I want to change. I don't want to live like this the rest of my life. I mean, you, you video game guys out there, you defenders of the video games, are you going to do that up until the time you're old? Real man there. Retirement home, you know, oh, let's go on in here and see Mr. So-and-so and sit in your chair there. <laughs> Wow. I'm sure these guys back here in this age, I'm sure that they would have been so impressed with the levels that you've made it to in your video gaming. Guy that's been to Alaska hunting and up there and things and, 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 you know, homesteaded in the, in the Yukon territory and, and they and then they're coming down through and traveling down through this way and exploring this area for whatever. And, and he's, you know, shot and been on uh, grizzly bear hunts and moose hunts and whatever else. And, and he would just, he'd love to sit down at your feet and let you tell him all about the video game levels that you've played. I'm sure he would just be amazed by you and, and just humbled in your presence. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 25 through 26. The desire of the slothful killeth him, for his hands refuse to labor. Some of you guys out there, little video game players, you're, you don't even have any calluses or scars on your hands. 
got the hands of a woman. <laughs> he coveteth greedily all the day long, but the righteous giveth and spareth not. He coveteth greedily all the day long. Oh man, someday I'd love to have a supercar. Right now I'm just going to play this Need for Speed or whatever game. You know, the the, the what's the uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto? That's one I've heard of. This stuff all came after my era, you know, thankfully. But, you know, Grand Theft Auto. Oh man, someday I'd like to have a sports car. Right now I can drive one though in my video games. Yeah, that's the same thing. Loser, you covet greedily all the day long. Why? Because your hands refuse to labor. You refuse. Go out there, I might get dirty. What if I fail? Well, then you'd still be doing better than you're doing right now, loser. Number five. When you play video games, you will lose. Number five. Relationships. I'll give you a scripture on that one. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 15. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. You know the main reason most kids get into video gaming? Because the mother's got other things to do. Child left to himself, just go, go, go play your PlayStation. Go, well, PlayStation is, I, I, maybe there's a new one or something. I don't know. You know, your Xbox, your, your whatever other godless, you know, wicked, depraved, satanic little box there is. Go play your computer. Go play your iPhone, your little, your little thing. Child left to himself. What to do when he gets older? Brings his mother to shame. There's some full-grown adult. Oh. Mom, are you going to make supper soon? I, I paused the game. Is supper ready? Okay, I'll take my supper and eat it down by the television while I'm playing my video game. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> You're a loser. You're a loser. Um, something that you'll learn when you get out into nature. Um, does, female deer, you know, um, they want to mate with a buck, a good, strong male. And the good strong males will run off the little weak anemic ones. You'll see these beautiful majestic deer and they have these large racks and up, up here, you know, 10 point, 12 point buck or whatever else, big strong deer and they're walking through the woods and here comes this little, little buck along and he's got, you know, one antlers this way and the other one's down kind of that way or whatever else. And he's, you know, kind of, hey, hey, hey darling, you know, to this, this doe and the, and the big buck comes along and just get out of here. Well, that represents kind of what goes on with people. A big, strong man that's made a success of his life, that's actually done things with his life, not played video games, he's going to get the good women. Okay? But a little video gamer. I can play video games. <laughs> You're a loser. No woman worth anything is going to want a guy like that. Plain and simple. And, you know, I heard about it over in Japan, that it's a huge problem over there. And women are saying, you know, you get these beautiful Japanese women and they're saying, I can't find a man. They all want to play video games. That's all they want to do. And the Japanese, you look at the statistics, they as a people, as a culture, are going to die out by, you know, some year in the future. They're not being able, they're not reproducing, you know, quick enough to replace those who are dying. A whole culture is dying because of video games. Do you understand? I literally heard a guy interviewing college girls at one time, beautiful, really good looking college girls, and they said, we can't get dates because all the guys want to do is play video games. You're going to lose relationships. You say, well, not me. I got a girlfriend. I got a wife and I still play video games. Okay, loser. Um, but how's that relationship going? Well, uh, my, my wife and I, we don't go out much. We just sit around and play video games. Okay, then you're losing all this stuff here. But uh, don't you think your wife would rather be married to a real man that would take her out hiking, take her out places and go and do whatever if you're saved? 
have a, a real man that says, hey, let's go out and uh, pass out gospel tracts or let's go do this or let's go do that. No, you'd rather be a loser with your little video games. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. A couple more places to turn to here. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 12. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Well, I can play video games and they don't bring me under their power. Sure. Sure they don't. Sure they don't. Um, if you're defending them, you're under their power. Okay? I mean, if you can't, I mean, you know... When are you going to grow up? As I said a little bit earlier, when are you going to grow up? What is the time going to come when you're going to say, you know what, I don't really have time for these video games anymore. Yeah, I played them as a teenager or whatever else. Yeah, whatever, could have done a lot better things with my time, but, you know, like men did 100 years ago. Um, but, uh, you know, I just, I'm, I'm eh, whatever. I, I, I'm done with these stupid video games. They don't help me financially. They don't help me physically. They don't help me whatever I'm done with them but you don't because you're under their power I speak as an expert I was more uh, the, the time of my addiction to video games is longer than a lot of you have been alive okay well it's a prideful statement uh, no child it's a statement of truth the pride is on your part when you think that you are my equal you know I've met some older Mainers out there and when they start talking about life in Maine, you know what I do? I shut up. Hey, I've been around the, the, the country in different states and things, and Alaska, Montana, and whatever else. I've been to, to Central America in the jungles and whatever, and I've seen, I've heard, I've read, and whatever. Some guy that comes around in this area, and he's an old man. Zip. Tell me all you know, sir. And I'm going to be respectful to that man. Why? He's experienced things that I haven't. He's an older man. I'm going to give that man some respect. But somehow, YouTube is a magic land where teenagers think that they know as much as a guy that's 45. Well, I'm 27, or I'm 28, and I know as much as Brother Brian knows. Really? Really? You have that level of pride, child? I mean, some of, you, some of the people that attack me are young enough to be my son or daughter. Weird. Weird. But you see, here's the point. They attack me because I hit their idols. I kick their idols. That's the whole point here. You are under the power of those video games. You are under the power of the rock music, the alcohol, the drugs, the whatever. Television, movies, you name it. You're under the power of that. It's not a liberty issue. And by the way, um, can you please explain to me the expedient nature of video gaming? Man, I'll tell you what, I didn't know how to, to, to put a new carburetor on my vehicle until I played that video game. That did it for me. Boy, I'll tell you what, I didn't know how to build a log home until I played it in that video game. You know, one of my favorite things is, you know, you get these, these you know, little idiots and they play these first-person shooter games and then they think that they're some kind of an expert marksman. <laughs> you know, they can just go out and shoot real guns in the real world and they're just going to be experts at, you know, you know with, with firearms or something. You live in a delusional, delusional little fantasy land, loser. <laughs> That's the fact of the matter. First Thessalonians chapter 5. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 22 says, Abstain from all appearance of evil. Hey, I don't really kill people in the games. I just, it's just, you know, I'm just, it's just a game, man. It's all it is. It's just a game. It's not right or wrong. It's just, you know, it's, a, it's not what the Bible says. The Bible doesn't say abstain from all evil. It says appearance of evil. So don't give me this stuff of, well, you know, it, it, it Okay, there are things that I'm doing in the game that might not be right and whatever else. Maybe there's some wizards and some witches and some spell casting or, or some killing of people or, or whatever else. Uh, but it's just, it's just pretend. I understand it's pretend. 
It's not what the verse says. The verse says, abstain from all appearance of evil. It doesn't say, well, you, you, you can play those things. You know, it's, it's, it's okay to imagine it, but it's okay. It, it's not okay to do it in real life. See? And uh, you say, well, well, why would these people justify it? Because they're losers. That's what they are. Uh, they're either lost or so far out of fellowship with the Lord that uh, they left the Lord a long time ago. And the Lord's just standing there saying, when are you going to repent? Uh, your life is going pretty bad right now. You know, again, I, I've been around Christians for so many years, in and out of church buildings and everything else, and I see these people just involved in all kinds of wickedness, no righteousness in their life, no standards, no, no separation, no sanctification. Oh, I don't like my job and my health is failing and I don't understand what God's doing in my life. And uh. Hey, loser, maybe you ought to start following the Word of God. Maybe you ought to start giving up sin. Oh, I don't know. I just want to kind of keep it in my life and I'll just complain and moan and groan if things aren't going good. Uh. You're a loser. Stop. Repent. Oh, it's okay. I'm just going to keep doing my thing there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Second Corinthians chapter 5. Say, so what was your life like, Brian, when you were back to, as a video game addict? Terrible. Miserable. Not good at all. I speak with experience. Many years of experience. A lot more than you people out there have. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 8 through 11. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore we labor. What did we read about laboring earlier? Laboring with your hands? You know, there's a lot of work that the Lord wants you to do with your hands for Him. A lot of things that you can do to serve the Lord. Why? That whether present or absent, we may be accepted of Him. What are you going to say when the Lord, when you made Him? What are you going to say if at the uh, catching up of the body of Christ, you're playing video games? Would that be embarrassing to you? That's one of the things the Lord put in my mind many years ago. You're expecting my return? Yes, Lord, I am. I'm hoping it's soon. Uh, why are you playing video games? Wouldn't it be neat to have the lost come into the home and there's the remains of my clothes or whatever's left behind, you know, in the Bible? Or uh, would you rather have it a TV there and an Xbox and a little video game controller and a, a bunch of toxic foods sitting there? What a testimony. The testimony of a loser. Hmm. Verse 10, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may, may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. These ultra-liberty people, these ultra-liberty wicked sinners, what they'll do is they'll say, once you get saved, God doesn't care what you do. There's certain things, yeah, you probably shouldn't do, but if you do, it's not that bad. You know, you can you can do whatever you want. See, it's not it's not good or bad. It's just, you know, kind of neutral. Because they're losers, you see. Um, it's not gonna come up, it won't come up with the judgment. It's not what it says right there. Whether it be good or bad. You stand before the Lord. And the Lord looks and says, how did you spend your time? Let's look at how many hours you played video games. I died on the cross to pay for your sins. I bought you with my blood that I shed and you spent the remaining years playing games? Is that what you want? Verse 11, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. 
But we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are manifest in your consciences. To finish the verse, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. What's your motivation? The terror of the Lord. Do you realize we're at war? Do you realize what can happen to this country? There are a lot of people that want you dead if you're saved. There are a lot of people that want to put you in a camp and uh, torture you. They want to do that. But don't worry because they're going to hold off judging or trying to get this country judged or whatever else. They're going to try to they're going to hold off because they know that you are playing video games. Absolutely. Um, we look at the body of Christ and we say, you know, the, the Jesuits and whoever else, the Catholic Inquisitors, which they actually still have the office of Inquisition. Ratzinger used to be the head of it. But, uh, you know, uh, Joseph Ratzinger, Cardinal Benedict, you know, and, uh, well, Pope Benedict, excuse me, Cardinal Ratzinger. But, uh, they're going to look and they're going to see the body of Christ, the Bible-believing movement, and they're going to look and they're going to see the young men, these young men that should be out there doing something for the Lord, writing gospel tracts, writing books, making videos, doing whatever else. And they're looking and they're saying, what are our enemies doing? Are we going to be able to take over this country? Well, I don't know. I don't know, uh, Cardinal. I don't know, Father, Most Holy Father. Um, they are very good at playing video games. You know, we've been checking and, and, and online playing and we've, we've been sending our Jesuits into the online playing world, the online gaming world, and the Bible believers are quite good at video games. I don't think we can take over. You bunch of pathetic little losers. Where's the militancy? Onward Christian soldiers. Well, no, onward Christian soldiers when the game is over. Just let me get. To, let me finish this level here, Lord. I can't go out and persuade men right now, Lord. I, I, I the terror of the Lord. I, I know, I know, I know. But I'm just. I, I need to de-stress. I had a hard day at work. Oh, I gotta play my video game. Boo, 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 boo. Loser. Oh, I'm gonna play with my ball. Whoa! Look at me. Look at me. I mean, at least you wouldn't have an electric bill if you're just playing with a ball. But you get the, you know, the idiocy and you get an electric bill. So you're really brilliant. 1 John chapter 2. We'll end it here. Because knowing the uh, little idol idolatrous uh, video gamers, they're not going to make it through this thing anyways. They've already tuned it off, and they're, and they're they're contacting all their other buddies, and they're saying, did you see his latest video? Did you see it? There was no meekness. There was pride. There was this. There was that. Let's 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 get on, and let's, let's log on and play a game, and we could talk about how bad his sermon was, and how offensive it was, and how he's turning people away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> losers. You bunch of stupid little losers. You got to be ashamed of yourself. 1 John chapter 2, verse 28. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. 100 years ago, a young man read this book. I want to be a wilderness man. And he goes out into the wilds of Alaska or someplace and he builds a, a mountain cabin and he's trapping and he's fishing for his food and he can he learns all about wilderness and he makes his mistakes and he learns from them and he has his scars on his hands and he remembers the time that he fell down and he broke his arm and he had to get out of the wilderness holding his broken arm and he had to patch it up himself and it doesn't quite work right and 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 all these things and he gets saved and he has all these stories and he and he's a great soldier for Jesus Christ. And he meets the Lord, and the Lord says, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You're a real man. A tough man. One hundred years later, Well, I heard a video, and so I got saved. But instead of going out and experiencing anything, I just... Pew, 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 pew. I played my video games. And the Catholics came, and the Catholics took over, and I wasn't any kind of a threat at all, so they didn't take me anywhere you know, as a video game head. And uh, the catching up happens. 
right in the middle of a video game. Up you go. And Lord looks at you and says, what a shame. Look at you. Pale little frail nothing. You played your games, didn't you? Now we're going to watch all those years, all the years of those video game playing. We're going to watch it all burn up at the judgment seat of Christ. What a waste. Sure wish somebody would have told me years ago. Now, all these years later, almost 45 years old now, like I said earlier, there's just no time. And I look back and I think how much further ahead I could be had I only given up those video games. What a waste. I pray you take heed to this sermon. Um, because there's so many false prophets coming out and they're using this liberty issue. And they'll get you. Okay? I've seen it. I'll give you one more scripture here. This isn't in my notes, but I'm just going to give you another one because this is a good one. Let's see if I can find it here. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. You better listen when the Bible says, Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Evil communications corrupt good manners, brethren. Um, playing online games is an evil communication. Don't tell me it isn't. Oh, we can get together and have fun killing people. Really? That's uh, your entertainment, is it? Abstaining from all appearance of evil? No, you're not. Well, we're going to talk about Brian behind his back. We're not man enough to uh, confront him. These guys were. You don't have to go confront false prophets to their faces. You just rebuke them. They teach things publicly, you rebuke them publicly. Whatever. But you see an older man of God that you've learned from, that you know personally, and yet you'll go around behind his back and just kind of evil communications. Mm -hmm. Verse 34, Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. I preach this sermon because I do hope that some of you awake to righteousness. I have no idea when the catching up is going to happen, when we'll be called up to be with Jesus Christ. Brethren, I have no idea. But I'll tell you what, if it isn't soon, a lot of us are going to be dead. Unless you awake to righteousness. I need more people. I need more men standing up and saying, hey, I'm going to fight what's going on. I'm going to expose this and I'm going to fight this and fight that. Drop the video games. Stop playing ball, child. Playtime's over. Our nation is in trouble. It's dying. You're going to be dead in the streets soon. You're going to be put in a camp soon and tortured to death soon. Very soon. You better awake to righteousness. We need a lot of people out there fighting and saying, hey, this is wrong and that's wrong and whatever else. Not playing video games. Hey, the house is burning. What are you doing? Get out of the house. I've got to get past this level first. Just hold on. I'm almost done with the level. Stop being a loser. Awake to righteousness. It's time to fight. It's been time to fight for years, but now especially, they're trying a hardcore takeover of this country. The Catholics, if they take over open control, they're already in control, but not openly. They're already careful. Okay, they're careful, I should say. But if they take over openly... You're going to see horror and terror in your life. But you'd rather play your video games, huh? Then you're a loser. You say, well, I'm not going to listen to this. I'm not going to do this. You can't make me do it. Then you're a loser. And if you're not convicted at all by this, 
See, there, there's, there's two types of sinners, okay? There's the one that's struggling with sin, and there's the one that defends it. Get a hold of that one. The two types of sinners, struggling sinners and ones that defend it. Say people struggle with sin. I get that. I understand that. But when you start to defend it and start to say, well, there's nothing wrong with it. The Holy Spirit doesn't convict me. That's because you don't have the Holy Spirit. You're lost. So that's going to be it for this study. Please take heed to this thing. You better get away from video games. They're a waste. And when you play them, you lose your time, your mental health, your physical health, your money, and relationships. We will see you in the next study.